So you want to get better at JavaScript? Well, arrays are an essential part of JavaScript. So in this video, let's look at the array reduce method in about five minutes. So first off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do weekly videos on web development topics. So if you're interested in more of that content, make sure to subscribe so you can see it when it comes out. All of that said, let's dive into arrays. All right, so this is a series on JavaScript arrays. And I've got a GitHub repository here that inside of this GitHub repository has a readme on what we'll work on and then a worksheet that you will check out to be able to use below. So inside of that worksheet, you'll have some sample Star Wars character data that we're going to work with. And we're going to walk through in these different videos, map, reduce, filter, sort every sum. And then maybe we'll add some, no pun intended, extra videos to this on the end if you're interested. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I've got the array functions practice repository checked out and inside of the worksheet JS, I've got the array here of Star Wars characters, each one having a name, height, mass, eye color, and gender properties. And what we're gonna do is come down to the reduce section. And basically with reduce of arrays, you're, you're wanting to iterate through each item in array and get some sort of ending result. So an example of that would be, what if we wanted to calculate the total mass of all of these characters? We'll do that in a second. We wanna iterate through each one, add the total mass for each one to get a total mass. And the way we do that is we start off with some sort of accumulator, some sort of a value that we're going to build up or accumulate on. So this is an accumulator pattern that you can look up in any programming language. But in this case, the simplest one is starting off with zero being the accumulator and then adding on the weight for each individual character. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Let's create a total mass property and let's take our characters array and call dot reduce. And what reduce will do or what it takes is the first parameter is a callback function that gets a reference to the accumulator and the current value. So I'm gonna make this an arrow function in here. And the second parameter that it takes is the initial accumulator. So in this case, since we're building up a number, the initial value should be zero. And then we'll have access to that accumulator in here, as well as the current item as we iterate through characters. So what the way this will look is we will take our accumulator and then we'll add on the cur dot mass. So whatever this is, it starts off at zero. We add on the mass of the first one. Then to that number, we add on the mass of the second one. And for this to work, we have to return the new accumulator, the uh, updated accumulator. And then that's what gets passed into here the next time around. So let's do a uh, try to log this out and see if this works. So where is our total mass? And then I'm going to use NodeMon, which I have installed on my machine, uh, to do a live reloading server here. So I don't know right offhand if 346 is correct, but my code looks correct. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that is. So it looks like this is working well. Now, one additional thing we can do, or one less thing we can do, is since this is a one line return, we can actually ignore that uh, return keyword and then the brackets for the function and uh, the semicolon as well. And now I'll get a little bit of formatting here. This is uh, the same thing. It does the exact same thing. You see, we get the same number down here, but it's a little bit of a shorthand. Really cool with uh, ES6 arrow functions. So uh, then what if we wanted to get the total height? Well, this is going to be the same concept. We're going to take our characters and reduce them. And then we'll have our callback function with accumulator and current. And then what do we want to return? Well, we want to return accumulator plus the cur dot height. And then again, the second parameter we pass in here is the starting value of the accumulator, which is zero. So let's do a log of this. So we should have our total height and total weight or total mass and total height. So you see 712 for the total height there. So now what if we wanted to do something a little bit trickier? What if we wanted to know uh, the number of characters that have a certain eye color? So this may be a weird name here, but characters by eye color. And what I really want is for this thing to be a map or an object that has a key of the eye color and then a value of the number of characters that have that eye color. So this is a, a pretty cool use case for reduce and a little bit uh, more tricky. So let's do, let's go ahead and stub this out with our reduce. We'll have our callback function with the accumulator and the current. And I'm gonna make this a full function here. So I'm gonna make this a full function and then give an initial value of an empty object. And then we'll say if the accumulator already has a key of current dot eye color, so if we've already seen that eye color before, then we want to take whatever value is in there and then update it. So we'll say 
accumulator with that value or that key. So the accumulator object with that key, we're going to set it to what it was before. So the existing value. So we'll kind of type out that same thing and then add plus one to it. So we're basically, if we are, if we already have this eye color set inside of this object, we're going to increase it by one. Otherwise we are going to set the accumulator at with the value of eye color to be one. So that means we've seen this eye color one time. Now, one thing we could do is we could uh, take color and put it in its own uh, variable or the eye color. So we could do curve.eye color. That will save us a little bit of effort in here. So let me go ahead and replace these. All right. And then we can also add a little bit of shorthand to just say the accumulator with that color, we can just do a plus plus. So we can just do plus plus here. That will add one. And then at the end of this, we want to now return the accumulator. That should be on a new line. So we start off with an empty object. And then as we see a new eye color, we add it to that object with a value of one. If we've seen that eye color before, we just increment that value by one. This is a pretty common question that you can see in JavaScript interviews, that sort of thing, where you're trying to associate something with a count and a map or an object is a great way to do that. So let's do a log here of the characters by eye color. And let's just see what we get. Well, now you can see, hopefully this makes more sense. Maybe I'll zoom in a bit uh, to see that this is an object that has keys of blue, yellow, and brown. And you can see that that comes back to these colors up here. And you can see that we do have two blues, which are counted appropriately uh, down there in the resulting, uh, in the results of the accumulator uh, or the reduce function. All right, so let's do uh, let's do one more here. What's uh, let's do a total uh, name characters, and this will be our characters dot reduce. Uh, we'll have our accumulator and our current value, and what we're wanting to do is take our accumulator and add on the current dot name dot length. So the length of that name will add it on to the accumulator, and then we'll start off with zero as the initial value for the accumulator. So just a number accumulator pattern there. And then let's log out our total name characters. And 52 looks reasonable, so it looks like that is working. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video and you feel like you're getting better at JavaScript arrays. If you're interested in learning more about arrays, make sure to check out one of the other videos in the playlist. And if you have any additional questions or topics in JavaScript you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment below or check out the link to join the Learn, Build, Teach Discord server and you can ask and share there as well. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.